ahead. Have a seat. There's a ship available, the USS Orville. And we're offering you command. Yes, I'm, I'm ready. You can count on me. There's a message coming in from Admiral Halsey. It says that an executive officer has become available. No. Be professional about this. Oh, please, there is nothing at all professional about this situation. This is my ex-wife, who I have not seen since my divorce, and you're telling me she's okay with this. Ed, she requested it. If there's something good I could do for you, it helped me atone in some way. Dr. Aronoff, this is Captain Ed Mercer. We have figured out a way to use quantum field technology to manipulate the speed of events. You do realize this could also be used as a weapon. That's why you're here. We have to get the device back to the orbital. Orders to Captain Mercer. There are Krill soldiers heading down to you. Give me the device, human. Dr. Aronoff, can you preset the field to fire up at a specific intensity the moment the Krill activate it? I think so, but why? And the field can accelerate time 100 years, about how long it takes a redwood to grow. Kelly, I'm asking you to stay. Welcome to the Orville. It looks like you were right about Ed. Does he know? No, and I plan on keeping it that way. He's lucky to have you on his side. Thank you. I have laid an egg. You know, I always wondered how a single gender species populated itself. Captain, we are receiving a distress signal. Send a message, we're on our way. Alara, you have the con. Wait, what? You have command while we're gone. Transport. What happened to it? Scanners show no sign of the ship. It appears to have been a holographic projection of some kind. They are gone. What is this place? Take a look around, your friend. You're in a Calavon Zoo. The Calavon are a very technologically advanced race, and they view any species at a lesser technological level as inferior. Alara, what are you doing here? Getting you out. Wait a minute. You couldn't have gotten Union clearance to come here. No, we took a little field trip. What if I were to trade you something that would be far more valuable to you? Something irresistible. The Bachelor Duck Dynasty, keeping up with the Kardashians. There must be 10,000 files here. The best exhibit we've ever had. It is a female. That is impossible. The child will be taken to Mockless, where she will undergo the corrective procedure. Captain Vorak, I will not allow that child to be taken off the Orville without Bordas' consent. Captain Vorak, I formally request tribunal. Tribunal begins. A circumcision is not a life-altering scenario. And a life-altering scenario would be unfair to the child. Yes, it would. Such as a child shunned by Mocklin society planet-wide. Wait. What is this? Well, look at that. Your planet's greatest writer is a female. We, the arbitration council of this honorable tribunal of Mocklis, do not find sufficient cause for suspension of the procedure. It is the decision of this tribunal that the child will receive the corrective alteration. Captain, I am picking up a large artificial mass. Its engines appear to be inactive. If it keeps drifting in this direction in about six months, it'll collide with Star J-2837. We're gonna have to make contact. It's a bioship. Biggest bioship anyone's ever seen. Can you tell me what sort of vessel this is? From where do you originate? What? Captain, I do not believe these people know they are on board a spacecraft. If this ship drifts into that star, your whole world is gonna fry. Why would anyone ignore this when there's a chance to stop it? Many people refuse to accept an irrefutable truth simply because that truth puts them in the wrong. You can rest assured Hamillac is such a man. Who's Hamillac? First guardian of the word of Doral. He makes all law. <laughs> Entire world is a massive bio vessel adrift in space, and in less than six months, it's going to be sucked into the gravity well of a star. I will not destabilize a system that has kept order for thousands of years. Have a nice nap. This is what we wanted you to see. I believe we are on the bridge of the ship. Damage records indicate the engine failure is quite rectifiable. What do we do now? 
Well, we're going to contact the Union fleet and have them send a special training crew to help reacquaint you with your own ship. Thank you. For everything. Captain, we're receiving a priority one distress signal from the Gatrius star system. The signal's coming from the surface of the comet. This is Captain Priya Levesque of the mining ship Horizon. I'm in trouble. I was returning from a mining expedition in the Matar system, and I encountered a Krill battlecruiser. Listen, I realize I never said a proper thank you. Search personnel database for the Vega Mining Consortium. Name, Priya Levesque. Search complete. No results. I don't think you're being objective regarding Priya. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's the object Alara and I found in Priya's quarters. We found something in engineering. We were hoping you could tell us what it is. I'm from the 29th century. When your ship encountered that dark matter storm, you were all supposed to die. Sir, something else is driving the ship. It's actually what piloted your ship through that dark matter storm. I'm a dealer in artifacts. It wasn't your lives I wanted to save. It was your ship. I might have an idea. We're approaching the rendezvous point. Give me back my ship. If I were to let you go, I'd be the one altering the timeline. Control is back online. Gordon, get us out of here. Alara, take her to the brig. As long as the wormhole exists, the quantum potentiality is open. But if we destroy it, we choose a path. We need to obtain a copy of the Ancana. What's the Ancana? The Krill Bible. It determines their code of conduct in all matters. You and your helmsmen are going to take that shuttle across the border and infiltrate a Krill vessel. All right, switch them on. Identify yourself. Yakar, we are a shuttle from the Krill ship Kakov. Request permission to dock. Looks like some kind of electromagnetic interference. This is the source. I'm reading high levels of neutron radiation. Well, that doesn't look friendly. It is a prototype neutron field generator. It can destroy all life on a continent in a matter of minutes. How much do you think we could turn up the lights on this ship? For a species that evolved in darkness, sunlight would be deadly. We could amplify the UV end of the spectrum. They'd fry, and we'd just get a bad sunburn. I can set the timing of the surge on your mark. And the kids are all inside. Give us 10 minutes to be safe. The weapon is ready for launch, Captain. Fire. Save the children. They're kids. For their whole lives ahead of them. They're not my enemies. After what they saw you do today, they will be. Wait! Before you click away, do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel. It means a lot to me. Well, not really, but it means a lot to someone, I'm sure. Also, if you like what you just watched, you can see even more content on the Fox Now app. Don't say I ever gave you nothing.